With movies like Wreck-It Ralph, Pixels, and the Angry Birds movie hitting the mainstream, video games are becoming more and more of a household presence. Not to mention that the feature-length Warcraft will be hitting the big screen on June 10th. We're so excited to watch it, our Doomhammers are prepped and ready. World of Warcraft has made a dramatic impact on the video game industry as the world's most subscribed to MMORPG. In addition to this, World of Warcraft has already been referenced in more than a handful of our favorite cartoons. I'm Nikki, this is Channel Frederator, and I'm here to help you count down the 7 best World of Warcraft homages in cartoon history. Let's get started. Number 7. My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Say what you want about My Little Pony, but Pony fans are some of the most passionate and creative fans in the world right now. My Little Pony fans often give fan nicknames to minor characters. Examples include Derpy, Vinyl Scratch, and Dr. Hooves. Leroy Winkins, while a lot less popular than these three, is also a fan named Pony. The parody of, you guessed it, the legendary and most recognizable character from World of Warcraft, Leroy Jenkins. We'll keep this explanation short, because even my dad knows who Leroy Jenkins is. According to the legend, Leroy Jenkins ignores his group's intricate planning for their next fight and instead runs straight into battle while screaming his name at the top of his lungs. Leroy Winkins made his debut in the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic episode, Sonic Rainbow. Winkins charges into the Cloudseum in a very Jenkins-like fashion, even shouting, let's do this, right before he gallops in. This is word for word from Leroy Jenkins' famous line, All right chums, let's do this. This reference is loose enough that it might not have been the creator's intentions to wink at World of Warcraft. That being said, we're crossing our fingers that the creators of MLP are just as into WoW as we are. Number 6. Monsters vs. Aliens. The sixth on our list brings us to yet another Leroy Jenkins homage, this time on the big screen. Or almost on the big screen. The 2009 animated film Monsters vs. Aliens is filled with shoutouts to pop culture. A World of Warcraft reference almost made it into the movie, but didn't make the final cut. That being said, a rough take of the scene can be found as a DVD extra for hardcore fans like us to discover. In the scene, our group of monster protagonists huddle together to figure out the best way to take down their adversaries. Bob, being the lovable and impatient guy that he is, exclaims, alright chums, let's do this, and shouts Leroy Jenkins. It's a shame that this didn't make it into the movie, because we think it would have been a hit with the audience. Number 5? Wreck-It Ralph. It's pretty safe to say that if a video game exists, you'll be able to find a reference to it in the meticulously crafted world of Wreck-It Ralph. Leroy Jenkins, yet again, hits the big screen in a brief easter egg. Spray painted onto the walls of Game Central Station is the name Leroy on one wall and Jenkins on another. While this World of Warcraft easter egg is pretty brief, we're huge fans of Wreck-It Ralph and think that it does total justice to all of its references. Number 4, Phineas and Ferb. In the Klimpaloon Ultimatum, the gang plans to sneak into a fortress in the Himalayas. Buford, and of course it's Buford, plays Jenkins in this scene as he charges past his friends and runs straight into the fortress while screaming his own name. To make the scene even more tongue-in-cheek, after they've entered the fortress, Buford says, What? I used gamer strategy. We rank this reference right below cartoons that have dedicated full episodes to WoW. Speaking of which, number 3, The Simpsons. In the episode Marge Gamer, Marge becomes a total Earthland Realms addict, descending deeper and deeper into the fictional MMORPG. Earthland Realms takes some heavy influence from WoW, mimicking the character creation system, gameplay style, and overall aesthetic. The best part about this episode is that all of our favorites cameo as fantasy versions of themselves in Marge's online adventures. Apu is a gem trader, Mo is a troll, or wait, actually he's not a troll, his avatar just looks so much like him in real life life that people think he's a troll. And Principal Seymour is a turkey with a human head. As an entire episode, this homage makes it to our top three. Also, there's something fitting about Mr. Burns' head attached to the body of a giant praying mantis. Number two, American Dad, Dungeons and Wagons. In this episode, Steve is an avid fan of the game Dragon Scuffle. 
Can we just take a second to acknowledge that Dragon Scuffle is an amazing name for a fictional MMORPG? Anyway, unlike the Simpsons parody we just mentioned, American Dad takes their referencing to the next level by amping up their animation to further mimic WoW. The juxtaposition next to McFarlane's signature style is quite a sight. It's cool, but also kind of uncomfortable, which just makes the entire gag more hilarious. That brings us to number one on our list. South Park went above and beyond with Make Love Not Warcraft. For one thing, it's the only episode on this list that has the word Warcraft in the title. But what sets this episode apart from its contenders is the fact that the in-game footage from the show is from World of Warcraft itself. South Park creators Trey Parker and Matt Stone worked with Blizzard Entertainment to produce the in-game footage with some help from the 3D animation software Maya. Blizzard Studios is even a part of the storyline as they helped Stan and his friends bring down another player with too much power. This episode went above and beyond by commenting on the lifestyles of hardcore video gamers themselves in a way more self-aware than almost any other in the media. I mean, my mom doesn't bring me Hot Pockets whenever I ask, but the episode is spot on in capturing the wow hype of the 2000s. This episode even went on to win an Emmy for Outstanding Animated Program in 2007. If you haven't seen it yet, you are missing out. You don't even have to be a video game fan or a cartoon fan to enjoy this episode. It's just that good. Thanks for watching our 7 best World of Warcraft references in cartoons. Which was your favorite? Is there a reference we missed? Excited for the Warcraft movie? Be sure to let us know in the comments. And be sure to subscribe for more videos about your favorite cartoons every week. And remember, Frederator loves you.